Everybody, it's Victor. It's time for a random run day here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope your weekends were awesome. And going into the brand new week, we have ourselves a new type of continuation meme of the day. Uh, I guess uh, Mosh Pet of the Day, once again submitted this time around by Slippery Duck989, who is riffing on, I believe that was Vegetable Muffin's picture of their dog. <laughs> So we've now had a couple of memes so far. This one was the funniest to me just because I love the double thumbs up next to the fireplace. I don't know. Just something about this picture got me. So thank you very much, Slippery Duck, and everyone who upvoted that one. There's also another couple of continuation memes uh, from this dog picture from the mosh pit. So well, I guess we'll just see where we'll, we'll see where they, that goes, the continuation. So, of course, today is also going to start the official beginning of the oh, Apollyon. We haven't had Apollyon in a while. Uh, the official beginning of the question of the episode where the most upvoted comment, which has the uh, high, which has the highest voted question, uh, will be a will be answered by me on next week's episode. So starting next Sunday is when I'll be doing them. So start compiling those questions. Remember, keeping the Isaac themed only because I won't be answering anything else. Uh, C day is going to be six Hotel Yankee Yankee Quebec four Whiskey Quebec. And obviously we're starting off with, well, base a poly on everything. So which is very good. Um, Apollyon has a very good uh, everything, but basically, basically movement speed. But it's a minimal complaint. Um, you know, he's got like he's he's basically just base Isaac, except he starts off with Void instead of the D6. Um, of course, we all know and love Void. Void is a space bar item that's going to allow you to consume uh, item pedestals, but also allow you to basically take their effects if they are another space bar item, like say Box of Friends or something like that. It will convert that into. Uh, voids functionality. So every time you use you use void from there on out, it's also going to do the box of friends effect, which is pretty cool. Um, it is an item that has been nerfed uh, since repentance came out. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but it's still very good in the in the sense that if you need to take if you need to take something out of nothing, it will do that. Um, like if you get just a bad a bad passive item, you can at least turn it into something more tangible that's beneficial to you like stats um, even if it's a range up i'd rather have a range up than have able for example um i know here come here come the triggered able fan boys oh you, you can't say able saved you that one episode no 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 he didn't definitely didn't um but yeah the void is just a it is just an ultimate value item um it can get you out of some sticky situations especially if, if you end up consuming something like say the book of revelations or the book of shadows um, anything that that can deal damage is also very good. And on top of that, one of the super functions of Void, I, I call it a super function just because, I don't know, it's trying to be clever and quirky. Um, one of the super functions of Void is that you can actually do stuff like Voiding Mega, for example. So instead, and that's a really easy, cheap way to turn Mega's cooldown from, like, say... It's plus two health, man. The movement speed down has been so bad. No, I'm, I'm going to reject it. Yeah, give me give me freaking tears and damage. Absolutely freaking lootly. Um, give me... Uh, I'm, I'm still stoked about the about that play from Lard. Um, it can take Mega and take, like, Mega Mush and that sort of thing. And then, basically, it's a cheap, easy alternative to having their cooldowns. So, instead of there being a 12 cooldown reduction for Mega, it goes down to a 6. Um, and that is just... It's great. That's why I call it a super function. So um, we have the Headless Horseman, which is basically one of, if not the hardest, first four bosses to fight. Um, if we were on anyone other than Apollyon, I would say that we'd be in kind of trouble, but we're, we're, we should be okay here with our good base stats, especially now that we've voided uh, Bucket of Lard and end up getting a Tears upgrade and a Damage upgrade. That was huge. Then, of course, we can also copy the Headless Horseman Horse, which will allow us to use the Pony Charge. So it's not going to turn it into stats. It's just going to take the functionality of the of the headless horseman's horse, and uh, we can use it now every time we we have void. So, yes, it does make the item worse technically because obviously it's a much shorter cooldown than the pony, um, which is or I mean void is a much longer cooldown than the pony. But um, this would allow us to use it for the charge attack, allow us to get into uh, curse rooms for free. Which is, you know, I'd say that's a pretty tangible benefit. However, it's not as tangible as, like, us getting a soul heart. So if we end up getting three cents, I will buy that full charge and use it on the flying pony. But uh, for all intents and purposes, though, it's not really, like, it's not something that we need. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> well I mean, a deal's a deal. Like, and, and on the flip side, like, it's not a bad deal ever, either. Like... Getting, getting ourselves, paying three cents essentially to allow us to get out of 
or into a curse room for half price is that's that's a pretty good benefit we'll definitely take it um it just the only downside is that of course we just don't get the passive flying we get to we get to scoot through like curse doors and then that's that so do that we have the pony now and uh yeah good start here First the lost. So again, as a reminder, uh, you can start posting your comments down below in the form of a question. Uh, I would prefer it if, if people make sure that they put like question of the episode or question for Sinvicta of the episode, something like that, so I can distinct it from from one another. Um, I decided I'm not going to I'm not going to make the the threads on that. I know that I'm I'm kind of been back and forth on that lately, um, but this will this will allow people to just start posting their questions immediately instead of having to wait for me. To post the uh, to post the threads there, so um, and then of course we can just we can just sit, see which whichever ones gets the most upvoted comment. That's the one I'll be I'll be answering, and we might do multiple questions. I don't know. Like it it's it's pretty interesting that people are so so keen on asking me so many questions about Isaac, and it's I hope it's going to be like a, a positive experience for everybody because obviously you know I I feel like I answer a lot of questions whenever I play Isaac, but I don't know specifically what people were wanting to know. Um, or maybe they're too shy to ask in like Discord or something like that, or they don't have access to the Discord. But yeah, it, it should be it should be fun. I think that switching it up every now and then like this is is going to be the flavor of the uh, of the channel for a while for the for the comments and stuff. And people haven't asked me, are we continuing the seventy five percent experiment? Um, it's like I said last week. It's however long you want to do it. We got some pretty good. We got we have some pretty good info. Um, on uh, what's been happening with the with this whole experiment and the general consensus that we've been seeing from the YouTube side of things this is, my, this is after my buddy looked at the uh, analytics of everything is that people are getting the channel recommended returning subscribers are not seeing the channel get recommended more than usual but old subscribers and people who aren't subbed to the channel are seeing the channel appear a lot more often in the recommended tab so it is working um, if we were to continue to do something like that, it would be it would definitely be amazing. Uh, but as I pointed out and will continue to point out, it's totally optional. Um, it, it is it is absolutely not mandatory. Um, and I've I've been very open in saying that, like, I myself wouldn't want to watch a video 75 percent. I would do it probably like maybe one or two times just to like help out the YouTuber or whatever. But like, I certainly wouldn't make it a, a regular thing. Because obviously it's just the, the audio distortion is just too distracting, and then it is funny after a while. But yeah, yeah. But I do appreciate everybody who who continues to to, to roll with the seventy five percent. I know that people uh, are leaving it on repeat uh, whenever they go to bed. They use these videos uh, to sleep and that sort of thing, and that is awesome. But you know what? I take that back. We do get the flying. You get the flying from the from the pony, really? If we avoid it, huh? I thought we only got the charge. Could be wrong. Interesting. Uh, but obviously, we voided uh, Zodiac. We got ourselves another damage upgrade, which is fantastic. That gives us a whole heaping helping of damage. Walk into that. Um, I know this is a Hangman card thanks to the mod. I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. There we go. All right. Didn't have to use, we didn't have to use a bomb. And now we also have the ability to get into our shop, which is right here. We don't have to go hunting around for another key on Curse of the Lost. And car battery. Yeah, car battery void's not too shabby. I am going to drop a bomb here. I didn't think the secret room was there, but I just wanted to see. And we might as well... Oh, I didn't mean to buy that bomb, but... But we have it now. Wanted to get the key. This is... I don't think that's anything. Yeah, so that's the boss room. So. Uh, I'm not sure where the secret rooms are. It's going to be old dookie. Oh, Dookie. Okay. I'm going to use the Magician card now just to make our lives a little bit easier against old Dookie. And I don't know if we're going to be able to take a Devil Deal here. It's going to be close. But our base damage is good enough to where I feel confident in, in going to low life here on Napoleon. Definitely take the HP upgrade and we get D-Bizzle. D-Bizzle. Honestly, we could probably take Rotten Baby too. Having ourselves a little bit extra damage there with the flies is definitely going to be something I want.
But going back to that picture from Slippery Duck in the meme of the day today, um, I always, like, every now and then I'll get these brief, like, revelations whenever I'm recording or, or, like, when I see reactions and just see pictures in general of, like, people watching my videos. Like, it makes me, it makes me, it, it puts it into, into perspective how many people still watch the Isaac series every single day. And, you know, when I see it on like a big screen TV or when I see it, like people posting it at work or like they're using it to work out of the gym, it like that's something that for me is always surreal in a way because it does. It's not that it doesn't feel real in, in the sense that like, you know, that, 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 that people don't exist or, or matter or anything that watch the videos. It's just that it puts it puts a different perspective on how these videos are watched. And it's a really cool feeling to see like so many people who who do who do post the, the videos and and use them for workouts and use them for for ASMR etc to bring me back in line to, to sort of like refocus my attitude when it comes to when it comes to the videos and to make sure that you know I have to understand that people watch these videos for entertainment but they also you know, they also do it to, to get away from stuff or they're using it just to, to zen out and, and get workouts done or sleep or, you know, or pose in front of fireplaces. Um, and that's, to me, like, that's very, that's a very healthy thing for me uh, to see stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, whenever, like, if we're having a bad, a particular, particularly bad run or like, you know, if the complaining pants comes out or something like that, Actually, super oh you know what I'm an idiot we've already been in the secret room um, it really it really puts into perspective what's important about these videos it's not it's not about the bad beats it's not about the Sinvicta luck it's not about the navigation or like a bad play or cheap damage or schmoves etc etc people watch these because they enjoy them and maintaining a level of positivity up to a uh, up to a realistic ex extent for me is has always been a challenge when it comes to video games in general. I like to think of myself. I'm, a, I'm I like to think of myself as a positive person. Um, I don't consider myself a pessimist. I can def I can definitely get irritated at a game, especially if I'm not playing well or if like the game's pulling some BS. Um, but overall, you know. If I if something's not going my way in the game, I tend to I tend to let everyone know about it a lot. I don't know what I want to do here. Obviously, I want to have a dab ding dong, but I also want to turn into Black Judas because we don't have to like we can we can maintain void without without being a Polion. So if we take Black Judas if we take Judas's shadow now, we will turn into Black Judas, but then we can't get back in here without bombing ourselves. If we do have we have to wait. We have to use two bombs to get in here, or we take a bad now and then take use the shadow, which is probably easier because we're still going to get the benefits of either. So we'll take Abba Dabba Ding Dong, and then we'll take Juice of Shadow, die, turn into uh, Dark Judas because we couldn't do. We literally could not do it the other way because we well, we we would simply die. But I consider myself a realist more so than a than a pessimist or an optimist, and in the sense that, you know, I, I've always I've always maintained an attitude of I don't trust someone who's who's overly positive. They they don't feel human to me. You know, you see many YouTubers who are just overflowing with this just crazy amounts of positivity, like almost to the point where uh, like it gets sickening. Here, of course, I'm not going to name names, but some of them I do watch, uh, or at least used to, and I'm like I you know I just can't. I just can't trust this person. I really can't. Like, I, I don't know anyone in my life that I would surround myself with who is just, like, always just upbeat and like, hey, guys, you know, what, do, what, do, do. Like, oh, it's a, what, a, what a great day. Oh, it's raining. Well, that's okay. You know, put a positive spin on it. I'm like, no. Like, it's, to me, to me, it's just, a, it's almost just as toxic as being, as someone who's overly negative and stuff. And I, I've always been, I've always been on an even keel. On an even keel when it comes to when it comes to being positive or negative 
I don't like being overly positive. I don't like being overly negative. I just kind of just, you know, talk about basically like how I feel. And the point of all this is, is just to say that when I see people, when I see people who, who post pictures and uh, of them enjoying the videos, um, it's really, it's, it really is awesome for me because it, it refocuses my mentality when it comes to how we do the videos and how the commentary will be. Um, you know, and every now and then you just, you kind of just need a little, a little bit, a little bit of a jump start, a little jolt. Say, hey, hey, you know what? It doesn't matter if you if you got schmooved on by a spider. It doesn't matter if we just wasted our last bomb when we shouldn't have. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because on the grander scheme of things, people enjoy the videos. People like coming here every single day. People like watching the videos and listening to the commentary. To incorporate it somehow into their real lives, into their real people lives. And to me, that is more of an honor than anything else that I could possibly do or have someone have someone say to me. So as silly of a, of a picture as it was, and as much as it did make me laugh, also at the same time, it made me just kind of just really appreciate the people who watch these videos and who have been here, who are either new subs or, or returning subs or, or they've unsubscribed and resubscribed. Um, it will never, it will never cease to amaze me, uh, how broad the channel's appeal has, has gotten and the mosh pit's grown so much over the last year, couple years now. And I'm very thankful for that. I really am. You don't get to see too many, too many communities like this anywhere really in the, in the online spaces, um, especially in gaming where you know, it's comprised of people who genuinely enjoy supporting their favorite content creator or at least one of their favorite content creators i can't thank you enough for it so thank you thank you everybody i pledge to keep on doing this for as long as humanly possible um because i've got no complaints about the job but sometimes it's uh it's long hours sometimes you know if i've had a bad if i had a, a bad irl day you know, I, I can still I can still come here and, and still feel good about about what I do, and uh, you know it's still it's it's still always fun, even if Isaac isn't fun sometimes. I'm still overall having fun. Just sometimes I express it a little bit better than other times. Would have loved to have gotten champion belt there if we could have, but unfortunately. Couldn't you bizzle? I don't I don't recall you giving me a, a soul heart yet here, D Bizzle. I'm just saying. Just saying. And also, yes, I forgot to use Void to uh, to fly through the curse room after after raving about how great it is. Yeah, we get movement speed. And actually, you know what? I just tried using the I just tried using the the flying pony. It just didn't work there. I don't know. I don't know what triggers it. In my mind, I I was pretty sure that it, you got. You got the charge, but as in like the pony charge. Super secret is north of there, but we should go at least look for full charges in case we don't like our boss item. Obviously, with us being Black Judas, any damage up that we get now is absolutely massive. I mean, any any little tiny damage up we get is just huge. We are smoking it, and, and and on top of that, think about all, all the damage that uh, Rotten Baby's doing. Sixty-eight percent, by the way, lol. Okay, <laughs> dude. I don't know. Sometimes it sometimes it goes off. I guess sometimes it doesn't. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's how it is with Isaac. Sometimes you just shrug your shoulders and be like, I don't know. Sure, it, sure. Sometimes it works that way. Sometimes it doesn't. You know. And they rock there, but again, we have no bombs, so. Bomb flies, but no bombs. Sito Una Bomba. Yeah, we kind of gotta. Of course, Proptos is also helping us out in a big way with our damage. 
closer we are to a target, the overwhelming amount of exponential power we get on our on our tiers here, and we can just get a bomb game, just one. Start us off with, thank you. The Hangman, which I mean, Hangman, like the reverse Hangman card, it would turn us into the Tainted Keeper for a little bit and give us a lot of money. So we could take it, I suppose. If there's enough, if we have enough um, mobs in the room, I'll use it. Like if we get like the egg glitches. I actually leave the left hand for a bit here. I am gonna keep. I'm, we're gonna keep taking it though, because obviously we need it to fuel our HP. This is this does not constitute enough mobs to do. We'll do we'll do this one here. I was trying to get the I was trying to get the uh, flies. He only had 30 seconds. Painted keeper. I saw this big room here, so I'm hoping that we get some money. And by that, I mean whole three cents. Yeah. I mean BFF would be great, but we need we need something more out of our chest. Now, ironically, um, it's not the best play for us being with. Uh, for us having the left hand because obviously the left hand is going to take everything that we have and then turn it into a red chest so that does not go well uh, with uh, with mom's key I'm still going to take it however though just because it's still going to be the engine that we need to get that HP for uh, for black Judas we got to hurry here didn't realize that we were so up against it for the, the boss rush the boss rush I'm going to go ahead and go into the super secret room yeah. You know what, Soul Heart, we would have gotten that out of a tinted rock anyway, so I'm fine with that. But the chances of us getting boss rush, especially now after seeing this room, are basically close to nil, I would say. You would have this is what it this is exactly how it has to happen. We need to be going in the right direction, which we've already failed. But we did get Tenant Skull. The problem is that we don't have any um, uh, bombs to do that. So slowly but surely kind of meandering our our chances over here to possibly get it. There we go. Would have been nice to be able to get this one to that door. We have one minute. This is going to be a Christmas miracle if we actually make this, which... We should, we should probably just give up on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep trying, though. What in the world? I don't know where that stars card came from, but... Now we can take the stars card. We know that the fool card is nowhere near where mom's going to be. This amount of damage, I mean, it's still technically possible, I suppose, but we need to really hurry. Obviously, this is going to be our 100% deal with the devil chance, so we need to go in there, too. Okay, now it's over. Valiant effort. I lollygagged a little bit too much on that last, uh, last floor, but again, I didn't realize that we were that close. So now what we're really hoping for is that we get a couple of bombs so we can get into that bedroom. If we can get into the bedroom, that will allow us to get three soul hearts in preparation for this devil deal. That candle will be black awesome if we can get it. Yep, double soul heart. We'll definitely take that. It's basically as it was a Hierophant card. on by there real quick got one bomb I know what you're saying, you're saying it's a big dog. you could just use the stars card to get in the item room yeah I could have but we had enough keys and I'd rather use that for a random teleport later on instead of well instead of doing that um, I'm going to drop the left hand for a bit in case we find another Another chest here because we just need one more bomb, man. 
Which is we dropped it in the last possible room, so. Uh e now. Okay, here's another option now. If we can get into the boss trap room via the sack room, that could be a play as well. That also potentially has enough to give us a bomb to get into the bedroom. You can use the stars card to teleport out of the boss trap room, so I like this play. Okay, so we got nothing. We got Dark Bum a heart. Um, go see what's inside of here. I was really hoping we were going to get a bomb. And Cat of Nine Tails is Cat of Great. Yeah, and there's no reason for us to sit there and, and try to mess with the uh, pile and anyone else. Um, that candle would be great here. It's going to be a real tragedy if we're not able to get into the bedroom. We only have one bomb. And there's way too many places for the secret room. I mean, it could be there. I'm gonna risk it for here, but and I don't I don't know. This is more likely here. Okay, I'm glad I did that. And we got double bomb. Let's go. Oh, that's good. Good. All right, so glad I decided to check that wall before we wasted our final bomb. Potentially huge game-changing play right there. Because this is going to get us three soul hearts, get, to get us back on top of our HP. Also allow us to possibly take a double deal if we do draw one here. But now all we really need to do is just get a couple more cents and we can get Black Candle and then we are, we are laughing. Definitely take D Bizzle's generous tip there. Um, I think we have to play this out to completion on the sack room. We have enough damage to where I feel confident. And obviously, we're Black Judas, so like we're we're going to always have to have damage to deal. Um, this potentially could give us Black Candle, and we can get the HP back as well. Probably end up avoiding that. Yeah, we we'll get ourselves a soul heart just in time for us to grab it and then get seven soul hearts. Um, I guess I'll take redemption. Yeah, I just wanted two cents games. All I, all I really cared about. I mean, yeah, we could have we could have dropped the uh, the left hand there and used mom's key for whatever type of chest that was going to be, but two cents, cents. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get like a fire or something in here that'll give us, or maybe fool's gold. That'd be nice, or tinted rock. I'm going to take the negative here for damage. We're going to void both of these. And got everything but tears, so that's fine. We're going to not be able to get Black Candle, but I think I think we still had, end up on top of the... Uh, we, we end up profiting out of that floor. Ended out on top. And what I'm really hoping for the left hand is to give us the... If we can get just get, like, a couple guppy items, that'd be great. Our HP is looking very solid. So solid, in fact, like, we could definitely play some late-game sack rooms, which would be very, very greedy, but very, very worth it, usually. Speaking of fool's gold, money, all the money in the world right there.
But yeah, what was supposed to be a polion is uh, just it's just a it's just a black Judas run now with void, which is very strong. That's kind of the thing with Apollyon too, though, is that like he doesn't really have anything that's special. He doesn't fly. He doesn't have any powers. Even Tainted Apollyon has the Abyss, the Abyssal Flies. I mean, what does regular Apollyon really do other than just start with Void? You know, just a just an excuse to play to play as Isaac, except with Void. Uh, I'm not going to take either one of these because we don't. It's like we're only going to get one more Devil Deal from from this run, and that's it. So. In my opinion, I'd rather just have the damage up that we get from Redemption, especially when it scales with us being Dark Judas than taking Goathead for one additional Devil Deal that may not even matter or maybe even be a Krampus fight. So we're hedging our bets and in, in speculating that we aren't going to be able to get anything useful out of the final Devil Deal, which may not be true. Of course, that's why it's called speculation. I'm not I don't work in speculative markets or anything. I'm just saying I'd, just trying to be just trying to be upfront say that I don't believe that it's worth the value of us just simply getting a raw damage up the fool Good use of the fool card there allow us to skip out of that totally useless mob trap room you know rotten baby shout out to rotten baby for for just being here no he's not he's not necessarily the top baby anymore in my opinion he's still very good Getting attack flies out whenever you fire is, is very, very useful. But, same time, um, I feel like it just comes down... It, again, it revolves. It all revolves around the concept of controlling your outgoing damage. We've talked about it at least once an episode at this point. Yeah, let me avoid the white pony. Now we have Crack the Skizzle. that 1.66 damage just on top of all the other damage that we get from being black judas and on top of all that scaling damage with the flies and on top of all that all that we also get ourselves just more damage from proptosis and the uh multiplier there so it's just win 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 get rid of that right now um we could go in the curse room but we haven't had any guppy items and at this point there's no reason to ex expect us to get any One thing you should expect us to go is the wrong way every single time, every single day, regardless of what we're doing. Not going over there. You can come to me. I'm not going to you. They, the only thing that we're really lacking on this run now is just tears. And four attacks per second is, is obviously, it's great. Um, but if I could pick one more stat that we could just just finish out, maxing out, it would be tears, obviously. Get a Hogla's rune. Some people have been pointing out this is this is something that I've been I've been noticing. They've been like, um, it was on I think it was on Friday of this past weekend. Somebody it was on or, or maybe it was Thursday's video. Someone anyway, someone pointed out they're like, what happened with this with this glitch right there? Uh, and what they were I mean it is fly, it's perma flying, so sorry, redemption. Um they were either referring to there was like a it was when it was when it was a boss trap room or a mob trap room something like that and loki teleported while there was backstabber active and it like you just see like this like this big trail of blood on the ground i think that's what they were talking about but also at the same time there was like a little bit of an audio like skip and uh, I've been noticing that lately in recordings, even in the Baltro series, where for some reason it's it's like a hitch or something in, in OBS where the audio will 
almost do like a I don't know like it, it does like a it does like a weird skip of like half of a second but the video stays in sync so I'm not sure why that's happening um, this computer is I mean this computer is getting about four years old now so it may be time to check the hard drive it's certainly nothing compared to the the old hitches back of the of the old the old 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 Invicta computer I don't remember those days still to this day is still not a hundred entirely percent sure of what was happening for that but uh yeah i've been noticing that uh the audio has been doing this weird thing on the on not every single video but every now and then someone will point it out and be like what was that i don't know i uh, ever since i've stopped becoming a tech i rarely ever check my uh my hard drives hard drive health anymore I've checked so many hard drive healths in my day, like thousands. I do not miss being a tech whatsoever. <laughs> Shout out to all my brothers and sisters out there that are doing IT IT tech work and stuff. It is a uh, is a demanding job. You talk you talk about your your frustrating jobs right there. Let me tell you something. IT. Oof. There's Guppy's paw, and speaking of backstabbers, backstabber. I was really hoping they were gonna see Maul of the Void. Um, I guess we'll take Guppy's paw here. It's totally useless to Black Judas, obviously, but it does count it for a Guppy item. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I tried to mute the microphone, but I don't have a mute key on OBS. The, for the br the very brief time that I I did have a mute key, I kept accidentally muting myself because I put it on a common key because I'm an idiot. And uh, I tried to I tried to look over and, and click it, but it was just not not fast enough. Apologies to anyone who's now not sleeping. <laughs> Wake up! That's your that's your Sinvicta sneeze alarm. I'm in our shot speed right now. People are wondering, if, am I going to do anything special for episode 1000? Uh, no, <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. I don't, I don't celebrate milestones, man. Like I really, I really don't. A milestone for me is seeing a video do well and seeing lots of people like meme it and, you know, just have fun with, with, the, with whatever happened and that video that's a milestone for me you know a thousand episodes it just it you know it it goes by like that you just you just don't even realize it when you do this every single day without missing a beat you know just want a tears up game just one tears up Fine. um but no I, i'm not planning on doing anything anything special or anything you know, may like maybe we can watch the the episode 1000 as a live premiere or something like that. My hopes is that there's nothing special about it. It's just a regular old Eden run. I don't even know what episode or what day it lines up to be, but you know, we did a thousand a thousand episodes in the Repentance series, a thousand episodes in Rebirth, a thousand episodes in Afterbirth. Like play this game quite a lot. Yeah, we've got some hours in Isaac, that's for sure. But despite all that, despite all the time and uh, you know the years that have gone by playing this game, it's it's always great to have those refreshers, like I said at the beginning of this video. And seeing the people who enjoy these these videos and the many many different ways that that they're that they're viewed is never ever going to get old. And it's good. It's good for me because it it. It sort of like just keeps me in line with. Okay, let's stop this ridiculousness. That was I don't know what was going on there for the final three seconds of that, but we got hit like four times in a row. We're 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 done here. Thank you, Isaac. But thank you. 
everybody who watches these videos. Again, I really appreciate it. And uh, starting today, start posting your comments down below. Keep them Isaac related, and I will answer the most upvoted question. Um, maybe we'll make a thread, maybe not. I think that it's it's easier for people to just not wait for me, and I'll go, I'll scroll through stuff, and maybe I'll post a thread, and like we'll take one that was in the thread, and one that wasn't from the thread. That way, people just aren't waiting around. So post them in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to seeing what the Mosh Pit has in store for me. And thank you for liking, coming, and subscribing. Have a great start to your week, everybody. As always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I like this page of mine like Mac, Kaizo Blades, and Oliver Went. If you like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.